Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce Rippey from Bridge Integrative Medicine. So I, you've probably seen this all over the internet. You hear me say things like wash your hands, get good sleep, think good thoughts, eat healthy fruits and vegetables, they mean a lot, right? All those, and exercise. Those are the things that even the Mayo Clinic is saying, yes, it's good for you. Now, we differ, Mayo Clinic and I, when it comes to vitamins and minerals. There are some supplements out there that are extraordinarily good for you. Yes, vitamin C, yes. Vitamin D, get out and get some sunshine, even though it's cold today in Kansas City. But get out and get some sunshine if you possibly can. We know these things are good for your system. It's one of the things that protects us. Zinc, that's another really good one. And pycnogenols, and I'll talk about that on Tuesday nights with Dr. Bruce later on tonight. But I wanna give you an idea of something. Something hit the internet that drove my little chemistry brain absolutely crazy. So this is the difference between uh, two things. And by the way, we are open, <laughs> just so you know, if you're local to Kansas City, and you want to get some advice or you want to come in and see us, we are wide open, okay? Just, just so you know. All right, we are all in this together. Here's this. This is hydroxychloroquine, uh, hydroxychloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, I don't care. All right, it's Latin, it's a dead language. But here's the thing. This is what it is when you go in and you get an anti-malaria drug. This is part of what it's all about. This is from here on is a, is a functional group. In chemistry, this is what's actually reacting with your system, okay? So once you get past this, this is basically a backbone of the structure. This matters, the chloride matters, but once you get past this, this is the functional group. This is quinine. This is the functional group. Now, I'm not gonna go into how this is a 3D model of a, of a hydrogen ion and all that kind of jazz, but this is basically the functional group. They are very, very different chemistries. This came from a called a cinchona plant, okay? South America, whatever it is, it's a bark. And this was actually useful in killing a parasite that caused malaria. It didn't really affect the disease as it affected what was causing the disease. And that's really good. Mosquitoes have a parasite, parasite causes malaria. It doesn't affect the lungs and so forth like it's protective. This actually is, it changes the surfactant layers on the lungs, which can be bad for you if you have COVID, by the way, or if you have a heart disease already. But it can also be good for you, so the jury's still out. You're allowed about, uh, I think it's uh, 83 parts per million, according to the FDA, if you drink tonic water. This is a very low dose of this. Even if this were effective in doing something, it's a very low dose. This comes in 200 milligram tablets, so it's uh, huge. Uh, it's not even the same, and usually, by the way, it comes in a sulfate form, which is gonna be H2SO4. It's gonna have a sulfate attached to it. The functional groups are different, all right? And it's absolutely more potent this way. Whether or not it's working, that's kind of up to everybody else out there in the medical profession, but this drove me crazy. Oh, all you gotta do is drink tonic water, have some vitamin C and zinc, and, uh, and exercise and all. Yes, uh, I'm gonna say it's a great idea. Vitamin C, zinc, exercise, great idea, right? But please don't believe that tonic water has anything to do with this. It's distantly related. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. If it's okay with you, let me just show you something here. This is a molecule that we all know, right? Water, okay? There's jokes out there on the internet, right? Dihydrogen monoxide. Uh, you know, this is a dangerous thing. It's all over everywhere. We've seen all the jokes, but this is water. So that's a molecule, right? If I do just this to it, it's completely poisonous and deadly to us. You cannot say that this is the same thing as that. It simply isn't, okay? This is not the same thing. It's misinformation and it's dangerous. So I need to let you guys know that. I'm just gonna put it out there. This will not do anything. In fact, it does do stuff for malaria, but it kills a parasite. And that's a good thing, right? But it does, and you would have to, by the way, in order to get enough of a dose, it would be so dangerous to you. You'd have to drink probably two liters of tonic water every single day, and that would be quite dangerous. You, you don't wanna do anything like that. So. This is a tablet, they give it to them, okay, they consume that tablet and it goes through their system completely differently. I just wanna let you know, okay? We're all in this together.